when, uh, when Daniel asked me to do, to take the role on as, uh, as head coach here at Ethica and technical director, I wanted to put in place a number of things that would ensure the success of the club long term. So I didn't, wasn't just interested in, I guess, coaching and running, running the men's team. I wanted to make sure that we could create a, a culture, a clear direction for the, for the club and a development pathway for, for all the teams. My experience having played professionally in Brazil, Portugal, Japan, and with the, the national team here, is that in Australia we produce very good players physically, very good players psychologically or mentally tough. Our players technically are okay, but from a tactical perspective, we struggle. That just our ability to pick up on key central cues is, is not so not so good. So, so this is something that I want to want to do here at the club. So, uh, okay. So the first thing that I want to put in place was a mission statement. So, and that being that uh, the world become the best futsal club in the country by provide, being the provider of the best futsal education program in Australia. We'll create an environment and culture founded on the club's key values that produces great players, great coaches, and great teams. So I believe that sport provides us, provides us with a unique vehicle for our, for our own development. And the sporting arena gives an opportunity to be the best we can be. However, it's, it is our, our values as a person that underpin everything else. So first we must strive to be good people in order to have a true success. So as far as our key values go, we've come up with, a, with an acronym, STRIDE. So the S standing for the strength, T standing for teamwork, R standing for respect, I standing for integrity, D for determination, and E for education. So from a strength, refer to not only from a physical perspective, but in, in all senses. So strength as a club as an, as a, and as an organisation, strength of comradeship or friendship, and most importantly, um, strength of character and strength of the competitor. Now, competition sort of got a bit of a bad rap in football and futsal, um, certainly at younger ages, but I think competition is very important. And so to be a good competitor is essential. And part of that, well, it goes back to the origin of the word to compete, which means to strive together. So it's not about beating the opposition, it's about trying your best so that you have to make the opposition better. So we become a better club, which means our opposition have to become better. The opposition become better, so we have to we have to step up again. And this is this is the, the idea of the competition. Teamwork. The teamwork. We we work as a we work tirelessly as a team because it gives us an opportunity to become part of something greater than ourselves and enables us to achieve something that we could never achieve by ourselves. If you think. Uh, Think back to previous World Cups in, in football or futsal. Everyone remembers who won won the tournament. No one remembers who won the best player of the tournament. It's only it's a, the honours that you win as a collective that count, not the individual in our sport. Next one's respect. We're respectful in our words and in our actions. Now this is I, I think this is very important. The way we conduct ourselves is essential. As, as sportsmen or athletes and as people in daily life. We need to respect others, so that includes our teammates, our coaches, supporters, as well as our, our opposition and officials. We need to respect property or our environment, and, we'll, and most importantly, we need to respect ourselves. So we carry, the way we operate is how we, idea, how we would ideally operate. So regardless of circumstance, regardless of whether you win or lose or whatever. 
or whatever. Okay, so the next one's integrity. We have a strong sense of what is right, and we are governed by our own high standards, not the standards of others. And I think that's very important. Quite often to see a lot of elite athletes that maybe maybe don't don't stand up to that. I think it's I think it's essential because cutting corners isn't isn't worth it. And I think uh, I think that's something that we need to yeah we need to sort of work on. We let our actions do the talking. We don't wear masks. We're we're who we are. We want everyone to be an individual. We don't want anyone to need to pretend to be someone they're not. And this, and I think this is, this is very important. Determination. We're persistent in our application of directed effort. So, particularly in the face of adversity. So it's, our determination really counts when things aren't going, going our way. And that's, that's essential because at the end, we're going to be the club's going to be defined by how we deal with this effort, how, what we do when things things don't go well. It's very easy to be to work hard when everything's going your way, but it's what we do when things aren't going away, when we it, when we have it, having lost when when we get things aren't going away. So this is this is something that can, uh, can really define us as a club. Next one, I think. It's Fundamental, and this is one thing that I really want to bring to the, to the club, so that's, and that's education. And you heard Daniel talk about the important place on, on coaching. Now, we all need a desire to, to consistently learn and improve. Now, if that's going to happen, if you're going to consistently learn and improve, and if you want to continually get better, then you need to operate at the edge of your ability. You need to be stretching yourself. Now, at the edge of your ability, that's where mistakes happen. Because you're not in control of everything. If you do the things that you've always done before, your chances of making a mistake are very low. Your chances of improving are also very low. So, for players and parents and coaches, mistakes are going to be an essential part of our development. And if we don't make them, we know we're not improving. We need to be trying and stretching ourselves, operating at the edge of our, our ability. No 